All right, it's gear time, baby. Hey, I got stuff, like a lot of stuff, too, too much stuff, but this is a video that I feel like I've been needing to make for a while because there is a small subset of you that really wanna know what do I use to make my vlogs? What camera do I use? What lights do I use? What microphone do I use? And that's what today's video is all about. I'm gonna tell you my vlogging setup. From here in my garage, because like I said, the theme for this year is craft and we're gonna try and actually start getting better at our craft. And so for a while, me trying to do vlogs, but probably sucking, um, you know, that's how you get better eventually, right? Oh look, frosty beverage that just happens to be sitting here waiting for me in my garage because drink a beer, I feel like that's what you do in a garage, right? Wait, hold on. I know some of you get triggered when I drink on camera, so insert sound effect now. Ice cold beer. Ah, oh, oh, that's good. Peachy made in the shade, Minkasi. Gotta love those summer IPAs. But without wasting any time, let's roll the intro and get right down to it. Show you what I do, show you what I'm using here. All right, cameras. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, up until January of 2020, I was using this bad boy, the Panasonic GH5. I absolutely love it with the exception of two things. In low light, sucks. Autofocus sucks even more. Literally, like I would shoot this thing run and gun, traveling everything. I'd have to be like manually focusing it because the autofocus is that bad. But Everything else about this camera, you get a beautiful image out of it. You can do great, beautiful 120p slow-mo. I love it. Like, I really do like this camera, but the low light for slightly pretentious the cocktail photography and the autofocus became a deal breaker. So I switched to this, this camera that I'm using now, which I'm not gonna lie, the image quality has been surprisingly good. I moved to the Canon EOS R. It's Canon's mirrorless system. When it first came out almost two years ago, there was a lot of people that were saying, this camera sucks, the specs aren't very good. But the thing Canon got right is they got the lenses right. So they have a ton of really, really good lenses. I usually use this. This is the 24 to 105 f4. It's the kit lens. It's the best kit lens I've ever seen. Everything you've seen this year from the vlog has been shot with this lens. This current lens we have going on, I rented that this weekend because I'm thinking about buying it. It's the 15 to 35. This is what most of the like professional vloggers that shoot with this camera, this is the, the lens that they use because you can go nice and close like this, or you can go super wide. Like this thing's like a foot from my face right now. So you've got lots of options. So I'm thinking about maybe going this route. I also use the Canon 35 millimeter RF 1.8. Uh, this is prime lens, so you can't zoom, but being 1.8, it's relatively fast. So this is what I use for my cocktail photography. If I'm in like a dimly lit bar and something like that, um, it's great. It's also much smaller than some of the other RF lenses. So I don't look like a total tool walking in with like my giant thing, but um, it's not a very good vlogging lens. Um, so that's what I use this for. It's just kind of always nice to have a fast prime lens whenever you travel. So a couple of the quick reasons I chose the Canon. Uh, it's really good for photo and video. So it allows me to do golf and YouTube. Um, it's got the flip out screen so I can watch myself when I'm doing things, which is highly important. They've got great lenses. Um, and if you don't know, lenses are generally more important than the camera itself and autofocus. Phenomenal autofocus. That was the most important thing for me. The Sony's, they don't have the flip out screen. The colors aren't quite as good. The menus aren't quite as good. Autofocus is about the same, but I've been super happy with the Canon EOS R, especially once I've learned how to use it a little bit more. If you've been thinking about investing in a nice camera for your videos, um, this one is probably going to drop in price pretty significantly over the course of the next few months because its successor, which is essentially going to fix all the things that are wrong with this one, is supposed to be announced next week. Uh, so there's going to be a ton of people selling their EOS R's to get the EOS R5, which is probably going to be like a $3,500 to $4,000 camera, but you could probably pick up an EOS R for, I'd guess, a thousand bucks or less. 
I got this and my lens on a Christmas sale for under $2,000. Um, again, that's not, ex like, that's, that's not cheap. That's kind of expensive. But for as much as I use this thing, it's worth investing in. All right, I've, this, is, this is probably gonna be a longer video than I thought it was gonna be, and it's not gonna be interesting to like 90% of you, but there's like five to 10% of you that are going to love this video, I guarantee it. I'll make sure to bleep out that so you don't have to hear me take a sip. Sound quality. Sound quality, more important than video quality. I've said this over and over again, you know this by now. I use two different microphones. I use this. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. It's about $300. Sometimes you can get on sale for a little bit less. This is kind of the default. There's not that many options for the top of the camera type thing. This is just kind of what everybody uses. There is a cheaper version of this. It's about $100 cheaper. The Rode VideoMic Pro, not the Plus. You want the Plus. Plus has a couple features, one in particular that is total deal breaker. Um, one, you can take this cord out. So if something happens to the cord, if it breaks, then the whole mic isn't dead. I had the other one. I had the cheaper one before and this cord is what got me. It broke and became unusable. Um, the other and more important thing is this will automatically turn on and off when you turn your camera on and off. The cheaper one doesn't. It's got an on switch. You gotta turn it off and on. I can't tell you how many times I either forgot to turn it off or forgot to turn it on and ruined the shot because of it because there was no sound. So the fact that this does it automatically, fantastic. The problem with this is this is now my second one of these and it just broke on me. So I was on a shoot down in Bandon just like two weeks ago, out on the golf course, got six holes in, working fine, looked on the 14th hole, mic wasn't on, couldn't get it to turn back on, we got screwed. And what shouldn't come as a surprise to me, this is the third time I've had a road mic crap out on me in the middle of a shoot. So all of my witty jokes, you guys, you didn't get to hear them. But now I gotta repeat everything with the crappy sound coming straight out of this camera. And I'm sorry, because the second half of this is gonna sound, well, even worse than the first part of it did. So um, I like it with caveat, um, just make sure you get the warranty. My main microphone is the Sennheiser wireless lavalier mic. That's what I do most of these videos with. If there's one investment that I would say is, has been the most worth it for me, it's been this microphone. Um, you can definitely find cheaper versions. I'll see if I can find one to link below. Um, but this, like I just wore through one of the cables because I've used it so much, but I've done hundreds of videos with this thing and it just gives you so much more versatility in terms of what you can shoot, where you can shoot, how you can shoot it, and it's been great. Uh, lights, when I have my like basement set up, I'm just using the lights that I've got in my basement. So that's why it just, it's well illuminated. It's not well lit. Uh, these lights, I've got two of them. Um, they're just really crappy light kits that I've had for like five years. I think I spent 150 bucks for three lights that came with like light stands and whatnot. So I can't even recommend one. Um, I'm, that's probably gonna be the next investment if I don't buy this lens is, some better lighting options, um, but it helps. It does, it, it helps. So frankly, for what you're doing, you can probably just get like a ring light, stick it around your camera, be good to go. Think of this garage setup. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about it. I'm, a, I'm sure the sound probably sucks, but we're, uh, like I said, we're experimenting. I just cleaned, this is the clean garage. You should have seen what this looked like a week ago. Ugh, bad. What? else okay what other goodies do we have in this bag ah drone i use the mavic air drone uh, i absolutely love it you can get it i think it's the newest version there's a mavic air 2 this is the original one you could probably get this for i don't know probably pushing like 500 bucks now the new one's just under a thousand uh the reason i like this over the mavic pros is because it's so small and portable so literally i can fit it in this little case <laughs> It slides nicely into my backpack and away you go. So even though, you know, there's some other features on the Mavic Pro and the video quality might be a little bit better, I use drone footage so sparingly and it's usually just for like, you know, quick little clips here and there. I don't need something super fancy. So if you want a drone that's relatively affordable by drone standards, works great and has great photographs, great video, then I can't recommend the Mavic Air highly enough. Ah, this 
secret. See that, see that little light right there? It's like an Apture like credit card light. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I'll link it below, but this thing is phenomenal. So if I'm in like a ho hotel room or something, need a little extra light, you can like ratchet it up, you make brighter. You can go like less bright. So this thing, if you're gonna be shooting on the road or whatever, not super expensive, I think it was like 50 bucks or whatever, you can put it up on the camera so it lights your face. This thing has saved me so many times. I'm like, how am I gonna light this shot? How am I gonna make myself look not like an idiot, even though I'm probably looking like an idiot doing this right now. But uh, this little guy, well worth it. I use a Think Tank backpack. I actually have two of them. One is like a Think Pack day pack for my camera if I'm just going to the coffee shop or whatever. And then I've got a bigger one for when I'm traveling. Um, I don't remember the exact models. They're okay. I don't love them. If I was gonna buy a new one, uh, I would get Peter McKinnon's bag because it looks dope. Uh, it looks super cool. Um, but it's like $400 plus, plus, plus with the accessories. I don't need to spend 500 bucks on a backpack considering not doing a whole lot of traveling right now. So a couple just quick pieces of advice. Uh, I heard this from Matt Diabella recently. Uh, the best camera is not the one you always have on you. It's the one you can master. Um, so it doesn't matter what camera you have as long as you know how to use it. And let me tell you, that is so true. With this camera, part of the reason I haven't really gotten creative is because I haven't figured out how to use it. I literally just set it up and kind of hit record down in the basement and that's what I do. And so all of this, all these videos and different spots and experimenting, whatever, is just me trying to learn how to use the camera better. Um, so whatever you pick, there really isn't a wrong choice. Every camera these days can make beautiful images or at least competent quality images. Learn how to use it and that's more important than anything else. So if I were starting over right now and I was on a budget, what would I buy? If I wanted to get into video and YouTube, I would probably buy a used Canon 80D um, camera, you're gonna be able to shoot great photo quality, great video quality. It's got the great Canon autofocus um, and you can get them super cheap right now. Um, so I would do that and then I'd probably get the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus uh, or maybe the Rode VideoMic Go, uh, which is a, a smaller version of this that I think you can get for like less than a hundred bucks. And at that point for under a thousand dollars, you've got a pretty killer vlog setup. Then it just becomes learning how to use the camera, learning how to do the lights and all that stuff that I still haven't quite figured out. Um, but that's gonna get you a really long ways. And frankly, iPhones these days, they shoot phenomenal quality. There was one, uh, I saw one recently by Cody Warner uh, that he did with the new iPhone where he's like, I'm just gonna try and like do a whole vlog with the iPhone. It looked freaking great. So if you've got a smartphone, start with that. Do some videos there, dabble with it. If you like it, if you think it's gonna be a thing, then maybe you invest in camera gear later on, but you can literally using stuff you've already got, make great videos. We got new videos every Monday and Thursday. If you're looking to build a lifestyle business, you can run from anywhere in the world. That is what we help people do here at Location Rebel. Go to locationrebel.com slash YT, get our free six day course, all about how to build a lifestyle business. Um, and we'll, we'll help you do that. That's, that's what we do, it's great. If you're not sure what type of lifestyle business you want, I would go check out this playlist right here. It's three videos uh, that will give you a little bit of a sense of what some of your options are, help you figure out what the, the best move is for you. Uh, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you tolerated it, also give it a thumbs up. And if you have comments on things I can improve, things you'd like to see, topics, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. This is a two-way street. It's way more fun when it's like a whole like give and take, take and give, when we can talk to each other. I'm not so big that I can't respond to my adoring fans. I love you guys. Um, and with that, I've gotta go make dinner and probably play with this lens a little bit more. So have a great day. We'll see you soon.